Uh, my name is Jim Robertson, and I am a graduate student here in the Biological Sciences Department. I am currently researching hops, uh, specifically the hop microbiome. I'm a non-traditional student. I um, joined the military uh, right around 9-11 and did a tour over in uh, Afghanistan. And after I got out, I devoted my time to working in a hospital, helping people. The medical field is, um, well, it's, it feels really good to help people on a daily basis. But at the same time, it's very, very high stress. So I was kind of looking for a break. And I saw that uh, Central Washington had a brewing program. So I thought, I've got all this college money and they're teaching people how to brew beer. But I was really, really surprised. Uh, Central has a really good veterans program and a really good outreach for older returning students, uh, non-traditional students, what they have. So I felt pretty um, secure in, in starting up. I mean, other than the fact that I hadn't taken classes for a long time. I suppose the moment that I knew I was going to do research or do science for the rest of my life was in uh, bio, Biology 101. We were looking at um, swamp water in a microscope and I saw this diatom. It was like this glowing crystalline object that was slowly spinning in the microscope. It's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. I did really well in the brewing program. And so then I applied for the master's program and I got in. The things that really sparked my interest in the brewing program was hops and hops research. And so I brought this to uh, the biosciences department and talked them into letting me uh, continue that research. And that's what I'm doing. My research came about simply because I wanted to look at a way I could help out in the brewing industry using the skills that I developed in the hospital as far as microbiology and using a microscope. I wanted to take those tools and use them in the hop industry as far as things like what bacteria, what um, pesticides and fungal pathogens that are prevalent. Um, there's a huge shortage of hop pathologists uh, crop pathologists in general. Um, so it's a wide open field. This research into agricultural microbiomes is extremely important. If you would like to achieve lofty goals that are sustainable for the planet. It's all about finding out which of these bacteria, these microbes are growing on our crops which ones are helping them, which ones are hurting them. Making sure that the good ones are where they're supposed to be. Because frankly, the pathogens, these uh, musts and rusts and various uh, pathogenic bacteria are killing our crops and they're becoming more and more resistant to our pesticides. So if we actually wanna feed the planet, we are going to need every tool we can. And if these bacteria, this microbiome, is helping us out, we really need to take a serious look at it. Hops have antibacterial properties to them. And so even though they've looked at some of the microbiomes in other crops, those other crops don't produce stuff that are toxic to bacteria. Hops do. It's gonna be very, very unique. And I'm hoping that we find some bacteria that can that are gonna help uh, either develop the hops themselves or help us design crops that are a better and more resistant to some of these pathogens. I want to encourage people to come into the field because there is a lot of opportunity. There's a huge amount of uh, money that goes through uh, the brewing industry as a whole. I think it was last time I heard it was about 1.9% of GDP was just the brewing industry. And there is about 75% of the total crops that make hops right in Yakima. So there's a lot of money, a lot of demand for the research. 
Uh, my plans post-grad school. I would really like to get a job working in hops or I'm thinking about uh, getting a PhD. Um, I actually just took a course uh, teaching college and I'm actually not bad at teaching, so I might try my hand at that as well. Um, that sounds a bit like I'm all over the place and that's, that's probably because it is. Um, going back to school has done nothing but open doors. <laughs>